Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Tuesday, April 30, 2024. May God continue to be with you and may his face continue to shine upon you. Our reading today comes to us from James chapter 5, reading from verse 13 to 16. And it says, Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall rise him up, and if he have committed sin, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another, and pray for one another, that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Amen. We thank God this morning for this portion of his word. And so the, the reading this morning is focused on prayer. And it started out with a few questions. It says, is any among you afflicted? So are you going through something right now? The Bible is saying we are to pray. So whatever it is that you are going through, prayer is the key to get you through that. Because your prayer put God in activation mode on your behalf as it relates to your situation. And it goes on to say that if you are merry, so if you are not going through anything, then you need to give God praise. It said, sing psalm. And it continue with a third question. Is any among you sick? So do we have any sick in the church? Is your family member sick? Is your friend sick? Do you know somebody who is sick? What it say here? Let the elders of the church pray over them. So in other words, you don't have to pray for yourself alone so it started out by saying that you must pray when you are going through your situation or pray when you are sick asking god for healing but he also says that we can involve others ask others for prayer on your behalf because god will answer those prayers on your behalf as well so while you're praying for yourself you can invite others to pray for you and so it admonishes us about the importance of prayer in the life of a christian and not just a christian any sincere prayer that is prayed god will answer that's what the word of god says but there's a condition it says that this prayer must be a prayer of faith so if you are asking god for something you must believe that he is able to grant you the desires of your heart according to his will don't forget that part so believe is critical faith is important both you and the person that is praying for you must believe that god is able to heal that god is able to deliver and upon that faith god will act according to his will amen do you believe in the power of prayer yes there is power in prayer and so let us seek him in prayer and it goes on to say that when we pray and we believe god will answer and he shall what raise us up and if there is sin in our lives if we confess those sins then he will forgive us of our sins and that is why it is important that we confess our sins every day amen and so we are to what confess our sins we are also admonished that we need to confess to each other our fault so if i have done you something what do i need to do i need to come to you and i need to apologize i need to confess so instead of both of us going around and we are at odds with each other and we we are carrying animosity towards each other what we need to do confess our faults to each other we need to reconcile and we need to pray for each other that we can be healed healed physically emotionally spiritually because what as long as that prayer is sincere god will answer the last part of the reading verse 16 says that what the effectual fervent prayer so that sincere prayer of a righteous man 
it means much more than you can ever imagine. And so let us not neglect to pray. Pray for everything. Don't only pray when you feel like. Because remember, prayer is a conversation between you and God. You are asking God for help. You are expressing and opening yourself to him. Not that he doesn't know, but it is more for you and for me than it is for him because he already knows. But when we pray, we are building that emotional and spiritual connection and bond with God, just like you would a friend, just like you would a spouse, just like you would your children. By communicating with each other, you bond through those experiences. And so one of the way that we bond with Christ is through prayer. Amen. And so let us put this in practice. Let us pray for each other. Let us bless each other. And God will answer according to his will. May God continue to bless you and keep you. In Jesus' name, amen.